The last visible solar eclipse dates back to August 21st, 2017, visible across the Americas, but it lasted only three minutes. So what should we expect from Saturday's phenomena compared to the last eclipse? Physics and science teacher Jason Lanza answered our questions today. We're experiencing a solar eclipse on Saturday, and the, um, this eclipse is actually um, not a total eclipse. Technically, it is a partial eclipse. Even though the moon will um, attempt, well, <laughs> the moon will pass completely in front of the sun, casting a shadow on us, but um, owing to the distance, right, because um, the orbits of the moon, sun, uh, sorry, the orbits of the moon and or Earth, right, are actually elliptical. The Earth's, the, um, the moon's orbit is elliptical around the Earth, and the Earth's orbit is elliptical around the sun. Now, in this particular case, the moon will be a little bit further away. And as a result of that, um, it won't look, it won't seem as though it is covering the sun completely. And as a result of that, it will be this ring around the moon, right? Um, technically, it's called the, the ring of fire. This is how a ring of fire effect looks. And you won't see another for 23 years. But be careful how you watch this one. Before you start to rummage around your homes for that dusty old telescope, you may want to rethink the potential impacts this eclipse can have on one's eyesight, given that the sun will not be completely hidden by the moon. So um, that in itself makes it a little bit um, dangerous to um, actually view this particular eclipse in that since the moon doesn't cover the, um, the sun completely, um, we'll still have um, sunlight coming up at us and prolonged um, exposure looking at it too long um, can actually damage your eyes. And in this annual eclipse that we're having on Saturday, um, the moon won't cover the sun completely. And as a result of that, it is a little bit hazardous to look at it directly. So yes, we would recommend either um, um, certified um, eclipse glasses or looking at it using uh, dark welders glasses also there are different grades please um, protect your eyes and use the darkest possible and the best way even though it takes away from actually looking at it directly is to just um, make a box with a hole on top and a white sheet of paper to serve as a screen and you can actually see the um, the, the, um, the sun's um, figure being, of course, obscured, being covered by the given moon. The eclipse will be visible across most of the country on Saturday morning, except the south, and will be best seen at 11.29 a.m. to 11.34 a.m. in Corozal and Orange Walk, 11.31 to 11.37 in Belize City, 11.31 to 11.36 in Key Cocker and San Pedro, and 11.32 to 11.35 in Belmopan. Despite being a partial eclipse, it will still be visible throughout North, Central, and South Americas. And apart from the scientific perspective of the event, is there anything else out of the ordinary we should be looking for or expecting? Lanza says that it is highly unlikely, but don't be surprised if a few animals begin to portray strange behaviors. This thing should start in Belize at 9.50 Central Standard Time, so I believe that's around 10.50 hour time locally. Okay, and this thing should last um, well from the point of initiation uh, to the point that it completely moves away. It should last till around maybe two, two o'clock or so in the in the. Everybody should know that this doesn't have any superstitious, any uh, supernatural effect on on any of us. <laughs> um, but like, take for example, you might see um, you might see like for example the chickens. And uh, typically, some um, wild animals might behave a little bit strangely because it darkens. They think it would be um, um, already um, sunset, right? Night is coming in, and they might, um, you know, go into their poop and, and roost. But other than that, humans, us, I mean, our environment, um, there is no supernatural impact on us. Um, I know for a fact that um, eclipse has been misunderstood um, certain given um, civilizations way before the time of Christ 
um, he used to actually believe there, um, a dragon would come along and swallow the sun. And as a result of that, these guys would make a lot of noise via cannons in order to drive away the cannons. And then, of course, um, our Mayas, our, Mayas and, our Mayan and ancestors, um, used to believe that we have to do human sacrifices to appease the gods. Because, uh, and as a result of that, uh, you know, even in the movie um, Apocalypto, there was a scene there with the, with the eclipse. But thankfully, we are more um, scientific minded, I hope. Uh, and um, as I mentioned, in this time and age that we tend to Google everything, uh, we should know that this is just a natural phenomenon whereby um, the shadow of the moon will be cast upon the earth. All right, other than that, well, um, safe, safe viewing of the eclipse, and I hope we enjoy it safely.